Hey everyone, I've got uh, a really quick tip for you tonight. We're going to talk about tearing down slabs. Here I've got just a perimeter slab. It could be any shape um, of the building. And if we look at this in 3D, uh, this is a composite that's just four inches of concrete over a compacted fill. And if I want, say, an 18 inch deep turn down below this, um, we can do that actually really quickly. So this slab is set to show on home story and one story down. It's at zero to home story. We're going to drop to the story below and we're going to drag a copy of this slab and change it from concrete compacted fill to just cast in place concrete and let's give it a depth of 18 inches here. Uh, we're going to put it on the foundation layer. Structural foundation. Um, and we're going to call it our turn down footing. And that one an ID. Um, so now when we look at this in 3D, uh, we have this additional overlapping slab that needs to be at the bottom of the slab, not uh, the top of that slab. Uh, this slab should show up on home story only, and it should have an outline of, uh, sorry, I'm not cut fill, looking for uncut line, should be dashed here. Uh, so with that line set to dashed, now we can go back to the floor plan and make this a turndown. So just to check and make sure that we've got the right uh, uh, slab here, that's the composite. Um, let's go back to 3D. This slab is on the first floor. We want to relink that home story to the foundation. And now, turn down. I have this slab here will be my turn downs. Uh, so I'm going to move it off to the side of set distance. Let's make that 120 feet for now. Uh, this is my turn down, but now I need to carve out the inside of that edge. So what I'm going to do is drag a copy of that in the exact same place. I'm going to offset the edges of that slab in. Let's give it a, uh, let's call it a 24 inch offset here. So now I have two overlapping slabs. Again, just to verify and look at these in 3D. Uh, there's a slab here and a slab here. If I select this slab and click on the edge, I can select from my pet palette the subtraction method and hold down the space bar to get the magic wand. Uh, and subtract out the inner piece from that slab. I can now delete that inner piece and grab uh, the perimeter of that interior edge and give it um, an angle for all polygons and let's set that to 60 degrees. So now I have a turndown here where my turndown thickness uh, total thickness is two feet. My turndown thickness is a little over a foot. If I need to adjust that I can actually adjust this in Again, with my pet palette, I can pull this whole thing in. Say we want a uh, 16 inch, so I need to pull it in about five inches. Um, and now I have approximately a 16 inch thickness here on my turn down. 18 inch, sorry. Uh, now if we go back to our floor plan view, let's move this back into place, 120 feet, back into position. Let's uh, grab that slab, and on this view, uh, we're gonna move that display order brain to front. So now my floor plan is showing that slab um, with its dash line and uh, back into 3D here. Uh, I select this slab and go to my solid element operations uh, and this is now my operator. The main slab is my target. Subtraction with no extrusion uh, and let's go ahead and drop back to the floor plan and take a look at how that looks. Uh, let's go ahead and um, open related views, my wall section. And there we go. That's what we're looking for right there. Um, so we can match that building or the, the line thickness on our main slab so we get a nice clean cut. So our cut line pen uh, can be the composite line thickness there. We get a nice clean cut. We get our, our compacted fill underneath the slab right there. Uh, and we're good to go. This can now integrate with uh, any building elements to stack on top of it. We have a nice clean foundation plan here on the foundation story, nice clean floor plan on the floor plan story. Uh, hope this